Hey everyone, thanks for watching Bridgeport Sparse Lights. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how much power does the light show take. So, let's get right into the video. So if you're new here, my name is Nick and I post videos about how to use smart pixel lights on your house to make an awesome light display. So if you want to learn the basics on how to use these lights, I recommend you watch this playlist right here because it has a bunch of videos that go through everything you need to run these lights. But for this video, this topic is about power. It's about drive, it's about power. The main topic we're going to go over is can your house handle running all of these lights? Is it going to take so much power that you're going to need to rewire your whole house, get new breakers, panels, sub panels to be able to get the electricity to the lights or will your house be perfectly fine with it? So if you're concerned about power and you're going to use pixels in your light show, you made a very good choice. Pixels are way more efficient than AC lights, they look cooler and it will save you a ton of money at the end of your show. So for this video, I'm going to be hoping that all of you know what panels are and breakers and how they work and stuff. Now the biggest thing people are concerned of is they're usually concerned about popping a breaker and that isn't the best thing to do. If you're trying to run your lights then a breaker pops it could shut off certain things in your house you have to go manually reset it and then if it keeps popping over and over that's not good for it. Now unless you fall under two case scenarios where you have this humongous light show you're planning with tens of thousands of pixels or you just happen to have a lot of stuff on your breaker already, you shouldn't run into the problem of a breaker popping. Now how many amps does the average pixel light show take? Now last year for my light show we had just over 4,000 pixels. In total, it took about 98 amps. No, 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 no. Don't worry about 98 AC amps. It was not even close to that much. It was 98 DC amps. Quickly, for those of you that don't know, pixels run off of DC power and they require a converter like this where you plug in AC power and then it outputs DC power in either 12 or 5 volts and that powers the DC pixels. Okay, so if it took 98 amps on the DC side, how many amps did it take on the AC side? And I'll be showing you how I converted that number in just a minute, but first I'm going to show you how you can calculate how many DC amps your pixels will take. Now this is for the most common types of pixels, but there are different pixels that work a little differently, so make sure to check the specs on your pixels before using any of this information. But for most common pixels, each individual pixel takes 60 milliamps of power or 0.06 amps of power. Now if you wanted to calculate how many DC amps all of your pixels are going to take, let's say I have 10 pixels here which each take 0.06 amps of power. What you do is just simply multiply them. So 10 pixels times 0.06 that will give you 0.6 amps of power or 600 milliamps of power and that's how many DC amps this would take. But you can change this. That is when the lights are running at 100% brightness. And trust me, if you have even over 100 pixels, you do not want to run them at 100% brightness. It might not look like it from other light show videos, and it might not look like it from what videos I posted, but in person, these lights are extremely bright. So I recommend you run your lights at 30 or 40% brightness, because it will save on power, it will save on how much wiring you need to power inject, and it will save how much your energy bill is going to be at the end of the show. Now it's obviously not going to look the same as it would in person because it's a video, but this is our 2020 light show and all these lights were run at 40% brightness. And this was our 2021 light show and some of it was run at 40% brightness, some of it was run at 30% brightness, but more than likely for this year's light show, everything is going to be at 30% brightness. It's still very bright and I've never had anyone comment that it's too dark. In fact, you can still see the lights shining off the neighbor's houses. So I really don't recommend you run your lights at 100% brightness unless you're miles away from wherever your viewers are going to be watching your show or if just you want to make your house like National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So let's say now we were running these lights at 30% brightness. Instead of each light taking 60 milliamps of power, it would only take 18 milliamps of power because 30% of 60 is 18. You all might think I'm super smart and was able to calculate it that fast, but I had to look it up first. So if you multiply 4,071 pixels by 18 milliamps or 0.018 amps, that would give you the 98 amps that our light show takes. So 
So let's say you followed along so far and you took your light show for example. Let's say you have 2000 pixels and you're deciding to run them at 30% brightness. You've already calculated that they're going to take about 36 DC amps, but now you want to know how many AC amps is that so I know how much amperage that's going to be taking on our house power and if it might pop our breaker. So I've made this formula, which really isn't mine, I just recreated it. And you can use this to convert DC amps into AC amps. So basically, power is power. It doesn't change no matter what it is. And by just converting it to AC or to DC, you're not gonna have more or less power than you had. So you can convert your DC power to watts and then take your watts and convert that into AC power. So the first step is to take your DC amps and multiply them by your PV, which in this formula stands for pixel voltage. So let's say you have 12 volt pixels and you know it's 36 DC amps. You're gonna multiply 36 times 12 to give you 432, and that is how many watts the lights will take. So now that you have your watts, it's super easy to figure out how many AC amps that's gonna take, and all you need to do is take the watts and divide it by your HV, which in this formula stands for house voltage. In the US, all houses have 120 volts AC, so we'll just take the 432 watts and divide it by 120 AC volts, and that gives you 3.6, which is your answer, 3.6 AC amps. So 2,000 pixels running at 30% brightness will take about 3.6 AC amps. One very important thing I forgot to mention, this is when all the lights are on white. Usually during sequences, you won't have all the lights on white. They'll usually be flashing between other colors, and you might have all of them on white every now and then, but the lights will not always take 3.6 amps. They will usually take about half this, unless you have all of your lights on white, then it will take 3.6 max. So whatever you calculate, this will be the maximum amperage your lights will take, and it will usually take a lot less when the sequences are running. Now, if you want to use the whole formula from start to beginning, this will allow you to put in the number of pixels you have, the brightness of them, and then do the rest of the formula to figure out how many AC amps that will take. Now, one thing to note is a lot of people say that houses take 110 volts, 115 volts. They take 120 volts AC in the US, and it's very important that you put 120 volts into the formula. If you put in 115 or 110, it will give you a slightly different answer which could actually mess up all of your calculations. So if you live in the US, make sure to set your house voltage to 120, and then in other countries, it's 240, and there might be even different voltages in other countries. Even though this power supply has a setting for 115 volts, it's still technically 120 volts to go into this. You can even take a kilowatt meter, which is a special meter that you can plug into your outlet. It could give you the different amount of volts, amps, and watts that come from it. When you plug it in and hit volts, it will show 120 volts. Oh, that is actually not 120 volts. I have been lied to. So now you can take this formula to figure out how many amps your light show will take. But just remember, this is just for the pixels. This doesn't include the amps that the controllers might take, the Raspberry Pi or your computer might take, your FM transmitter, any extra things you have plugged in like inflatables, this does not count for that amperage. This is just strictly the pixels. So if you do know the amperages for everything else, then you can add those in to figure out the overall amps your light show is gonna take. If you don't wanna do the calculations, then here's a spreadsheet that shows how many amps 100, 1000, and 10,000 pixels will take at different percent brightnesses. This is for 12 volt pixels and five volt pixels are slightly different. So here is a spreadsheet for five volt pixels. And for the final question, if any of you have seen the behind the scenes of the 2021 light show, you'll know that we added in a sub panel so that way we don't pop a breaker or have any problems with that. Now, if even a Christmas light show barely took six amps, then why did we have to add this in? And should you add one in? Most of the time, you should not need to put in a sub panel or redo any of your wiring unless you have a special case, which is kind of what we had. The outlet that all the light show stuff plugs into from the main surge protector happened to be connected to a bunch of different things on only a 20 amp breaker. It had the actual garage light bulbs on the inside and the garage door plugged into it. It had a whole bedroom plugged into the one breaker and it had half our kitchen plugged into that one breaker. We did not do that, it was just the way it is and it happened to cause some problems. Even in our 2020 light show, which only had 479 pixels, which took about three to five amps, it was running perfectly fine until one night when we went to turn on the microwave. It was five minutes before the show was gonna end 
We turned on the microwave, which was plugged into the same breaker, and that ruined everything. It obviously popped the breaker because microwaves take a lot of power, and I didn't feel like restarting the show since it was five minutes until it was over with for the night anyway, and that's why we had to spend a ton of money to put in a new sub panel. That way, all of the lights can have its own 20 amp breaker and its own outlet, so the light show could take up to 20 AC amps and not have a single problem until the breaker pops. So in most cases, garages are on their own separate breaker. As long as you have nothing extra plugged into it and you don't have tens of thousands of lights, like I said, it won't cause a huge problem. But that is all for this video. Hopefully this helps you understand how much power pixel lights take and can help you make the right decision for your light show. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end of the video. If you aren't yet subscribed, it would mean a lot if you would subscribe. We are literally inches away from the thousand subscriber goal and it is so awesome that we have gotten this far so thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.